So now we're focusing on the audio topics, and next to me there's Steve Boom, Global Vice President from Amazon Music, and we could talk a little bit about the radio industry, the audio industry, about the music industry, and uh, I think the music industry has been shaken very hard a few years ago, and now I see a little shake in the radio industry. So what's up for them? In terms of well, Amazon, you know the, um, the the music industry definitely got shaken up by technology, but now 20 years, of starting with Napster, of yeah. course, 1999, 20 years later, it's technology that's making the music industry grow again. So, I think every industry, when confronted with new technology, has to understand that technology, understand what is it good at doing, and find out how to marry those things with the new technology, and then grow again. So, and uh, Amazon Music is, m is more like a partner for the music industry right now, or is there also something, something for the radio industry uh, Amazon will provide in the future or is providing already? Well, sure. So, Amazon Music is a partner for the music industry, but Amazon Alexa, our Echo devices and Alexa, are already a very popular way to stream traditional radio stations is through Alexa. So, millions upon millions upon millions of hours around the world of regular traditional FM radio and AM radio are being streamed on uh, Echo devices. Yeah, and um, I, I, I actually do this. So I listen yeah, to my radio through Amazon well. Alexa, um, and um, I'm calling Alexa to, to, to broadcast a radio station from a country I don't live there. Yeah, um, which I do the same. Yeah, yeah so, so same here. But um, lots of opportunities when I think about it. So um, Amazon might know what I'm listening to when I listen to radio over Amazon Alexa. But maybe you have better we stats than We radio just know that you asked to listen to Virgin okay. Radio in the UK. After that, it's, it's okay. not our stream. But would be a great opportunity for you because the stats for radio are quite old and quite boring. Maybe you would have better data and to provide it for the radio industry. Wouldn't it be a great well, opportunity that, that, that to data compete? Is there in, that's the radio industry's data for them okay. to figure out what they want to do with it. Okay. It's so not ours. Just, 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 yeah, just it's inventing not something for you. Yeah? Yeah, but we <laughs> partner with the radio stations you know, for Amazon Alexa. It's a very popular part yeah. of the Alexa experience. Yeah. So, um, but Talking more about Amazon Music and um, the streaming industry, so there are other competitors in the market like uh, like Spotify. And um, where is the the difference between you and Spotify in the near future? Is it the devices or is it the content? Um, it's the experience. And so, um, first and foremost, we've really put voice control of a music service at the center of everything we do. We think the way you access music by using your voice is totally transformative. And so, we've been focused for the last several years on building the best voice forward music service. And then most recently, just five weeks ago, we launched Amazon Music HD. And so, this is a service that offers customers 50 million songs in CD quality and millions of songs in better than CD quality. And uh, you know we're the first of the major streaming services really to, to stand up and say, you know what, audio quality really does matter. And so when customers think about Amazon Music, we're already seeing uh, huge interest in, our, in the new service, Amazon Music HD, and that's how I would think about it. Okay, so devices, quality, and content. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so the, the combination of, of all the three, perfect. And um, so the music industry also changed a lot in the in the in the in the, in the through the years. Um, yeah, it has. And, uh, and 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 technology changed the music industry, as you just mentioned. So, what's in for the music industry in the next level? So when we talk about audio quality and new bands, new 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 talents. So how can Amazon help the music industry to find or to explore new talents? Well, I mean, that's what's amazing about streaming services and streaming being global, is that new artists are, are bubbling up from um, parts of the world that no one was expecting sometimes and becoming popular worldwide very, very quickly. And I think the data that exists on all the streaming services uh, really helps the music industry understand where's the next hit going to come from. And so um, I think that's the biggest thing that you're seeing right now is it's changed the way A&R or artists and repertoire, how people discover artists, that's completely changed in the way that's done. There was a big issue um, for some music uh, b b bands um, being uh, very popular on, on streaming platforms. And then uh, it came out that all these stats were completely fake, so there were fraud in that system. So how do you protect uh, Amazon Music from being uh, a fraud platform for bands who are not popular, but yeah, gaining their... Yeah, real even, yeah, yes. They're not, not real, <coughs> really, celebrities. Yeah. I, I mean, we have a team of people who do nothing but look for that. And we have very smart computer scientists and um, they're building algorithms and looking for ways to detect when people are trying to defraud the system. And then we shut it down. Very okay. simple. 
So, and, and is this working so far? It's working really well. Yeah. Okay, so uh, next time you see a new band rising and they are popular on one platform, you should also check Amazon Music if yeah, they're not exactly. popular Very, there. That's a great idea. Do the, great idea. The split run test. Yeah, good, good way to do <laughs> okay, it. Okay, perfect. So uh, you get a, gave a keynote today at the Median Tag mentioned in the audio panel. So what was your keynote about? Well, it was a discussion. It wasn't a speech. Um, but there was just some questions about, you know, what is Amazon Music all about? And I think some of the questions that you just asked, like, how does this pertain to the radio industry? What yeah. can we expect Are for the radio industry it? in the future? Are they afraid of you? Well, they didn't ask me any questions, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, look, I think new technology can be scary for everybody. Like I said in the beginning of this interview, the key is I think radio has so many unique attributes associated with it. That's very hard for, you know, big technology companies like us to replicate the, the fact how it's local and it's live. Um, those are things that are very difficult to replicate at scale. And um, radio needs to understand what it's really good at and then understand how new technology is coming in that can amplify that. Yeah. Um, and if they do that, then they'll grow with the new technology instead of being disrupted by it. Could you imagine Amazon Alexa reading the news, making the morning jokes, reading the weather, telling me the news of the day, the hits of the day, and then playing music in the bit in between as a kind of a radio host or having different Alexa voices with different sounds and different uh, styles as the new radio in, the, in a somewhere in the future? Or is it totally... I mean, nothing's impossible, right? Um, but I think that... Anything like that is very, very far in the future. Okay. We've come a long way with voice technology and assi vo uh, voice assistant technology. Um, it's still quite early days, and, and that vision is long, long time in the future, in my opinion. Okay, there, there's still something, there's still cake for the radio industry. Still a lot of technology development to do, okay. absolutely. Perfect. Thank you, Steve Boom from Amazon Music. Thank you for Thanks having for me. Thanks for being here. My Before pleasure. Being my guest. Thank you.